I like your nails. Oh, yeah, you guys want to see these? We need to get them redone here soon. My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button, and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, uh, careful with this flash. So this arc... F Let's back up a bit. I guess the rank already happened? No, it's happening. Okay, so... This flash is gonna pop here. And this angle is where Reyna is. So this flash doesn't get this angle. Right? We need to... The arc needs to be, like, here. For this angle to hit. Right? Some mathematics for you. God, we have a all three take. We have a Phoenix that's AFK. We Okay, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this ult. Oh, I think this ult was way. Charles, do you know geography? I do actually, yes. I'm very good at it. I know where every country is on the map. Do you speak to your Romanians in English? Or Romanian? English. But I speak to my grandma in Romanian when I talk to her. Jules, do you have any siblings? I have a brother and a sister. So we need to make sure that we're strafing in between our shots. That was good. This was better. INTJ gang, let's go. Are you single though? Uh, yes. I'm very single. I like this better. I like these shakes better even though we didn't win this gunfight. Let's see if he does it. I actually don't mind that. Something's something's off here with this gun control. See? Oh, this was a perfect example. This was a perfect example of it going too deep. Yeah, I feel like I probably I pro okay. So the pop flash was good. Psychic case so underrated. I agree. Oh, you're in a great spot. You're getting at least one. No! I think you were in a great spot here. Careful with, uh... So... Oh, Tomodachi. Yeah, Tomodachi game is actually really good. I actually really like Season 1 so far. Be careful with using your flashes here. When they don't know. Oh, 
I would be throwing something. Spike down B. Okay, so careful with this fall back. Basically, I would have communicated to your team to fall back before you started to fall back if you had a plan to go towards A, because when bomb is down on A site, it's really hard to win that round. You getting popular fast? We're growing a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that, that peak there was... I'm not... Yeah, you're right. That peak there was scary. We go A here. We go A here. This guy is so annoying. Oh, look at that. One of them. The Yoru was also there. Could have rotated. But... This Phoenix is very cringe. Okay, this... I don't like this play. I think this might be a tilt play just because, you know, Phoenix is really annoying. So I understand this. But if we were to look at this logically, we shouldn't be playing this aggressive when at 4v2. Run it down, babe. Great job, team. Flashback. Good flash. Oh, uh, I would have just done one. Just to see what's... Scope it out. Nice shot, though. Dude, clean aim. Crosshair placement is good, and your aim is clean. 80. Knife for info? Alright. Let's do a quick little summary. Alright, so... What do they do well in the session? So the big thing, again, going back to what we were saying in the first session, your aim, cross your placement is really good. Your aim is really good. Very clean, very crisp. Um, and I think you you definitely excel in that department for sure. Spend practicing before the next session. Okay. So the biggest thing to focus on, you want to be strafing a lot more in between your bursts, right? A lot of times you're bursting, but you're kind of standing still or you're doing this like micro step. You want to make sure you're giving yourself enough space to really give your crosshair enough time to reset. Um, another thing too that I'm noticing is with your flashes. Your flashes are all really, really deep. Uh, it gives them enough time to react. And if they are right on the corner, they're, they won't get flashed. So you want to make sure that it pops right at the corner and like, you know, it doesn't give them enough time to react with it. Another thing too is we want to communicate. Sometimes we fall back. Sometimes we kind of, you know, uh, decide to start to rotate. We want to calm to our team. Hey guys, we don't have to push here. Let's fall back. Let's rotate here. Uh, make sure that you guys are on the same page because a lot of times like the bomb is not like you're dropping bomb on a different site when you're falling back and it's almost un unwinnable um, after that part. So that would be the biggest things. What should we work on for our next? So for the next session, I want to really take a dive into comms. What are good comms, effective comms, making sure that everyone's on the same page strategies for the round making sure uh we have good coherent strategies what's their ults can we play around it what are our ults how do we maximize our ults so we can win this round these kind of stuff that um would really impact the rounds um if we just kind of gave like a few um words of wisdom to our team especially the ones that are uh, teammates that are raging <laughs> um yeah. Uh, another thing too is I think a lot of times you're overheating too when we have numbers advantage. It's like a 4v2. You want to make sure that you're not too aggressive there. You want to make sure that, you know, you're falling back, you're playing with the team and we're being a little bit more mindful of the sound that we're making when we're by ourselves. That's like a big, big thing uh, as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Good stuff.